Now let's head to the northern region where we understand results have started trickling in for some of the positions. We understand that there has been some interesting developments in Tamale. Noah Nash is our northern regional correspondent there over the line to give us the details. Noah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Tell us the developments that happen in the northern region. Okay, so the development are this. There are two things. One that happened this morning was the fact that six people were arrested. According to the police unit, those individuals who were arrested today were still going to be remaining in the police custody until tomorrow when a final determination will be made on them. So as it stands now, those six have not been released or granted any bail, police bail or anything. Secondly, there was a misunderstanding among the candidates regarding the voting pattern when it comes to Tesco, uh, where they said they wanted 26 of the delegates to actually vote. That was a mistake pronounced by the announcer, which generated a lot of fear, and a lot of people were angry, and it actually brought the military into the, into the field to actually be able to control the crowd. It lasted for almost like 10 minutes, then we went to the, the rest of the voting pattern, which is to allow 16 of them to actually cast their vote. And to tell you the truth, the very interesting result that came in. The most interesting result was the fact that the Kuba chairman has still retained his position. Uh, that is Mohammed Mansuman Samba, retained his position as the chairman of the Northern Regional uh, MPP uh, head for the next four years, and he pulled a 238 votes. His biggest contender, who happens to be Dagomba Boy, who is called Alaj Inusa Dagomba Boy, pulled 123, and Ibrahim Mahama apparently pulled one vote. The second key context was that of the youth organization, where Mohammed Al Hassan also won by 199, uh, with his contender called Jasparo, who also pulled 152. And these are very key contests in the sense that their campaign and their activity, their attitude on radio and conversation among delegates actually made the tension quite interesting. So people felt that those individuals who actually spent a lot of money could actually win. So this is what exactly actually transpired. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Noah Nash. Noah Nash is also our northern regional correspondent there.